Wake up, high people. A typical malfunction of the iMac 2012 year of release. Now I will tell you how it manifests itself. The black screen turns on, there is no image and this problem is related to the failure of the wireless module. Therefore, first of all, you need to remove the wireless module and turn on the iMac without it. The computer mouse can be used as an initialization tester. We see that the iMac turns on, the red light on the mouse lights up for 5 seconds and goes out. The display was in another service but they could not determine that the problem is so we are now pulling off the display and removing the Wi-Fi model. We take a pair of tweezers and unfasten the antenna loops of the Wi-Fi model, which is T5 screwdriver, and screw the two screws. On the reverse side, it is glued to the motherboard. For easy removal, you also need to unscrew two screws which a T10 screwdriver and move the speaker to the right. And now we return the display, connect it and turn on the iMac so that the display does not fall out of the case. <laughs> you need to glue the perimeter with paper tape. Now you can connect the mouse keyboard and power cable and turn on the iMac look oh my god he worked it the iMac turn it on an image a parade and the operation system started loading there is also a second iMac I think that there is also the most malfunction Look at the metric, it's dusty. Later in the some video, we will clean the display from dust. In the meantime, I turn it off the iMac connect, the external SSD and perform a boot from it to check the status of the internal SSD. The smart verification program is available in a demo version for 13 days from the official website. This will be a note for you to check your SSD drive. If you see the status which errors vary, it is written in read letters and the, the bottom the status itself is yellow which means that soon the data drive will fail. The old faulty Wi-Fi model will need to be marked with a marker. I will already found a working Wi-Fi model while we put it aside. The cooling fan works very strangely it crackless. <laughs> we take a screwdriver G10 and screw the screws of the left speaker and also at the same time remove the cooling fan then we unscrew the SSD tray peel off the remaining tape in the lower part of the case you will need to unscrew the screw and remove the metal partition as shown in the video. 
we unfasten the cable in the yeah, loop remove the power supply unit and screw the four screws of the cooling radiator which is screwdriver t8 and a screwdriver t10 four screws of the motherboard or logic board we remove the hard disk cable in the place with the motherboard then you should clean the interior of the housing from dust using a compressor pump and a paint brush perhaps from the last service in the interior of the case there were mud stains they also need to be removed with a damp clutch here you need to be very careful carefully take a screwdriver th and end screws three screws gpu another screwdriver t10 and screw four screws socket processor we remove the old the thermal paste which a toothbrush next you need to edge erase the surface with alcohol using cotton swabs we will use arctic mx4 thermal paste apply a small amount to the gpu and cpu as shown in the video we put the cooling radiator on top in first fasten the gpu screws very carefully teaching the screws then turn the motherboard over and insert the processor lock so that the processor does not fall out of the socket tray hold the radiator with your fingers on the back side and then we teach them the screws diagonally it is recommended to change the thermal paste on the iMac once every three years from the date of poor chase depending on the clean climate in kazakhstan you need to change it once every two years we install a serviceable wi-fi model and fasten it now you can return the motherboard back to the iMac case we still have to figure figure out why we have a noise cooling fan now we will disassemble it remove the rotor and wash it with a thin gink dish detergent <laughs> after washing the rotor you need to dry it the inner sleeve must be lubricated with oil you can use regular engine oil ready i hope it will work currently now we return the fan back to the housing well now we go to the most difficult now i will show you how to disassemble and clean the matrix from dust be careful disassembling the display may cause damage to it and then when you assemble it it may 
not work there may be streaks on the screen if you do something wrong or something goes wrong and screw all the screws around the perimeter of the display at the bottom of the display you will need to peel off the tape and lift up the screws as well on the right side you also need to peel off only the conductive tape in two places in the upper part of the display very well have the camera in three place on the right and left you need to peel off the matrix substrate flip the display and remove the matrix as shown in the video we remove the matrix to the side and now we see the areas where you will need to remove the dust to strangle the dust I will use a microfiber cloth. Now we'll show you what was clearly visible. Use a cloth to wipe the dust in one direction. Do not wipe the dust in a circular motion. You will need to carefully wipe the reflector so as not to damage the sheets. How the dust gets inside the display remains a mystery to me. A lot of IMAX are birds to clean the display we have already cleaned one part of the screen now we move on to the second part of the matrix display and we also clean it from dust cleaning the display is considered a complex pro Procedure as it is associated with the risk of damaging the display during the process after the assembly. All the display we clean it up now, assembly it in reverse order. We check and correct the sheets of reflectors we cover the matrix from the top and fasten the screws Do not forget to return back to glue the native tape at the bottom of the display. We fasten the lower partition into the iMac case. Remove the old double sided tape from the perimeter of the iMac case. I use it to side the tape for tablets 5 mm wide. If there is no original rim kit, then this option is just right and is not expensive. Connect the display to the iMac, connect the keyboard and mouse, then connect the external SSD drive. Turn on the mouse, hold the Alt key on the keyboard and boot from 
the external SSD. Select an available wireless network and check how the Wi-Fi works. Open the browser. Now I will find my YouTube channel and turn on the video. The Wi-Fi model works fine. The internet works fast. The matrix now books like new after cleaning. The spots on the left side and right were cleaned and were very dirty spot in the center they are no longer visible after cleaning this ssd has broken sectors on it it creates certainly worse as an ssd but it is a visible to replace the ssd with a new one the rest of the iMac test went well the video chip now does not overhead after replacing the thermal paste next go to the playwood display the energize the iMac connect the loop and connect the power and turn on the iMac you will need to put the display exactly around the perimeter and this glue the lower part immediately then make sure that the display works clean the camera from dust and seal it you need to walk throughout the pyramid which a dumb clutch so that the display is well glued to the body that's all thank you for watching we put likes and write comments bye see you